Wendy? The first star. Why don't you make a wish? Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Red dancing shoes. I'll make a wish too. I wish, wish your, your wish, wish comes come true. <laughs> <laughs> now, how can I get Wendy her wish? Country cobbler. Shoes, boots, slippers. That's it. Hmm, but what'll I do for money? <laughs> Those shrieks are all too familiar. <laughs> help that poor cobbler. Hmm. That shoe gives me an idea. <laughs> Who's at the door? Yikes! The, the, the place is bewitched! The shoe has come to help his master! Mr. Cobbler, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly ghost? I'm sorry you were frightened. How can I ever repay you for this big favor? You just name it. I'd like to get a pair of red dancing shoes for a good little girl. You got them. And all the witch leave a pair to be fixed. She no return, so I give them to you. Eh, here they are. Golly, they're beautiful. But I hope one thing, that they not be bewitched. That's strange. There's no one here. Gosh, they left a box. And it's for me. Golly, my wish came true. The good fairy must have heard me. I'll try them on and try a few steps. Oh, I, I want to stop, but I can't control my feet. Uh oh, they are bewitched. I'll have to get them off her feet. Don't worry, Wendy, I'll... Oops! What a terrible thing I've done to Wendy. So you see, Mr. Cobbler, I must find the witch who left those shoes. Her name was a Witch Weevil. Where can I find her? You go see the broom maker up the road. He might help. Benny the broom maker. I'll be with you after one more trial run. Golly, he's a broom test pilot, too. A perfect landing. <laughs> See, that old witch weevil won't recognize her old broom when she returns for it. That's witch weevil's broom? Uh, yep. I must see her. If you see her, would you do me a favor? Give her this. But where does she live? In the dismal swamp. But please be careful. They say it's haunted. Gosh. Dismal swamp. Keep out. Witch Weevil Landlady. I may as well use her broom. Who knows how long I'll be on this search. I want all the insults. A ghost riding a broom. <laughs> oh, I'll fix him. Hipsy dipsy doodly showers. Now you have no ghostly powers. <laughs> what happened? That's only a sample of what happens to anyone who trespasses on Witch Weevil's property. Witch Weevil, remember those dancing shoes you left at the country cobbler's? Dancing shoes? Why, yes, what about them? Well, the cobbler let me have them and... What? My property given to a ghost? And I gave them to a good little witch girl. You gave them to a good little witch girl? Well, is she happy with my dancing shoes? No, she can't stop dancing. Please, Witch Weevil, stop the dancing shoes. <laughs> she shall go on dancing forever and ever. For making me sore, you shall ride the broom forevermore. <laughs> What's the matter, little ghost? Who, who are you? I'm the fairy who sweeps the stardust from the sky. Maybe you can help my little friend. You want to help your friend, but how about yourself? My problem doesn't matter. It all began with a wish on a star, so let the stars free you. The spell is broken. I'm free. Yippee! The shoes have stopped. Look, good fairy, the shoes have stopped dancing. 
Casper, your unselfish wish was the magic that broke the witch's spell. Look, Casper, I've learned to control my dancing shoes. Yeah, how about that? should now like to retire on me pension. Pension? Retire? <laughs> Nonsense. I say, uh, fill up the pool, James. I'm going in for a swim. Yes, my lord. Oh, dear, 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 dear. This window is filthy. My lord will be furious if he sees it. Gad! Crystal clear! to discuss me pension again, my lord. James? <laughs> James! Come in, my lord, come in. Whoops! Excuse me, my lordship. You gone, my lord? I'm waiting for my martini. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> Memory fails me, my lord. What are the ingredients of a martini? Three parts distilled gin. Yes, my lord. One part vermouth. Quite, my lord. Dash of bitters. As you say, my lord. And stir, but don't bruise the ice. Onion, my lord. Hon uh, <coughs> onion, by all means, young man. Your martini, my lord. And now, my lord, about me pension. <coughs> Wheat drink, James. It's all ice water. <laughs> Yes, James. Tonight, I propose to Lady Worthington. She has a mad passion for handlebar mustaches. The lovely Lady Worthington. My dear Lady Worthington. Oh, I adore your beautiful mustache, darling. <laughs> it's a gift from father, you know. A cigarette. Hate it. Champagne. Loathe it. Music. Love it. Jeems. Light the candelabra. I should stay away. Uh, but what can I do? Smashing what? I hear your name. And I'm a flame. <laughs> They say, a flame with such burning desire that only your kiss can put out the fire. Oh, your moustache! 
I could never marry you now, Irving. Without it, you look positively naked. My lord, now about my pension. Here. One, two, three. Now go, leave, retire. Is that all, my lord? Why, it's hardly enough to keep me in fish and chips. Here. Perhaps I'd better get back to me duty, sir. No, no! Anything but that! Here, take this! I would appreciate an extra shilling or two for an occasional bottle of stout. Will this do? And then there's me severance pie, vacation money, hospitalization, old age benefits. My pension. Oh, come now, Irving. Let's be original. Being able to sleep is keeping me awake. If you can't get to sleep, just plug up your ears. With no noise to disturb you, you'll sleep well for years. That sounds logical. Your way to get any rest is to get a blackbird fresh from the nest. Eat him in pie, croquettes, or in stew, and you'll sleep like a top. Pleasant dreams to you. Hmm, a blackbird. That sounds logical. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. I've quite a call of the day. Good night, fellas. Good night, kitties. Good night, everyone. I was quite a hit the hay. First, toast two pieces of bread. Butter the toast and add some spice. If you like croquettes, tasty and nice. This crow's wanna be a dead duck. Mm -mm. That man's got insomnia. That's all I has to know. Boys, boys, eating at this late hour is the worst thing you could do. It'll keep you awake all night. Mm. Awake? But I ain't slept for weeks. Just leave it to me, boss. The best way to get some sleep is to start right in counting sheep. That sounds logical. And I's going to be the little lammies. Bah. One. Bah. Two. Bah. Three. Bah. Four. Bah. Be tight, boss. <laughs> I did 
bed and sleep a wing. That's a gross misunder-exaggeration, boss. Look, you were sawing wood so hard, you went right through the floor. Well, what do you know? Now, if you wants to get sleepy, you got to relapse in a good hot bath. That sounds logical. Now, boss, ain't that cozy? Soon you'll feel dozy. Oh, oh. Sleep tight, kitty. So long, stupid. That's why I'm gonna leave you now. Uh -uh. This time I'm doing what the book says. But, but, boss, I can explain everything. Here comes the Sandman! Time to hit the hay, boss! Time to retire! Rock-a-bye, kitty, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come Kitty. Boy, what a mess. There's going to be a secret launching of a new rocket. Now I want you fellas to get over there and get a picture of that takeoff and scoop all the other papers. Okay, Chief. Are you still here? Haste makes waste, I always say. Get going! Where's that elevator? Hey, wait for me! So long, Slowpoke. <laughs> to cover the launching. Sorry, buddy, but photographers aren't allowed on this base. Photographer is not allowed on base, eh? Well, I'm getting in there and getting that picture. There's more than one way to snap a picture. find the launching pad. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Liquid fuel delivery. Okay, go ahead in. Uh-oh, I'd better get rid of this cigar. Get 
get a snapshot without being detected. Oh, boy! This'll make a perfect picture. Oh, who goes there? Saboteur, it's the firing squad for you. And hut! 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 Two, three, four. Hut! Two, three, four. Hut! Two, three, four. You got any last words to say? I only regret that I have but one life to give to the nosy news. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> of the launching. Why, that's as old as yesterday's news. Er, uh, I got the scoop. Now I gotta tip the public enemy number one, Foxy Fagan, is gonna rob the bank. And the one that gets back without a picture is fired. Okay, Chief. <laughs> We say haste makes waste. <laughs> of the moon, only 10 cents. Here you are, folks. See the wonders of the moon, only 10 cents. May I have a look, mister? Sure, sonny. Step right... Huh? A ghost! <laughs> A monster. Let's capture him for the king. Golly, moon people. <laughs> They're real cute. gonna do with me. His Celestial Majesty, the ruler of the moon, King Luna. And from whence comest thou? Your Majesty, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and I come from the planet Earth. Bah! 
the planet Earth. A likely story if ever I heard one. But King Luna, I do want to be friendly. The monster's got me! Guards! Guards! Put the monster in the royal dungeon! Gee, even the moon people are afraid of me. Dogs are not allowed in school. to school. <laughs> I guess I gave him the slip that time. Pal, I said go home.
the ball. Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? <laughs> My little dog gone. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? <laughs> Get back there, you much. My little dog gone. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Where, oh, where? My little dog gone. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? <laughs> Get back there, you much. <laughs> Trouble with that cat again? Yeah, Hoyman. We are starving. Starving, eh? Well, if I get rid of the beast, then on with the feast.
out of the prime of their life. <laughs> the night light is every away. Who are you? One who has come to lead you to greener pastures. You, you mean I'm deceased? Amen. Come, it is time to go. I'm sure. Oh, boy! Flying! That's for me! Hey! Where's my wings? No wings for you, cat. For you, the fiery fighters. The fiery fighters? Step down. The fiery furnace! And if you feed them, you shall win your wings. More oh, cheese, cat! Yes, sir, yes, sir. Where's my salad? Here, come it up, sir. Another bottle of milk. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The spoon is dirty. He wants, sir. He wants. Come on, Roger. Come on.
careful spot in town. Well, this is the place, fellas. How do you like it? Gosh, this is great, Cousin Hoyman. Our apartment is right behind this pipe. <laughs> Attention all ghosts, attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes, begin takeoffs.
Asper, your orders were to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs> looking fella. Hello, mister. My name is Casper. Ah! 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 Gosh. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Gentlemen, I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> Thank you, sir. A skeleton 
Crunchy. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> it's cold. You're no match for our strength, Casper. <laughs> I'm going to exercise, and someday you'll be surprised at how big and strong I'll be. Golly, if I were big and strong, they'd never do half the things they do now. <laughs> Uh-oh, an ogre. He's gonna scare someone, the meanie. <laughs> What's the big idea? Whoop. Nobody likes to be frightened, especially out of his sleep. Wow. Say, you're my cousin Powerhouse, aren't you? Casper, I was just on my way to visit you. Gosh, you sure are husky. Well, I made myself strong to fight bullies. I wish I could build up just to defend myself. Well, I've got a case full of exercising equipment I can give you. Wow. I wonder how that puny Casper's getting along with his exercises. Oh, let's try him on a lake again. <laughs> I guess the ghostly trio won't bother you anymore, Casper. I hope not. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Coming home now. Wow. They sure are noisy. Boo, boo. Quiet, please. Who does that Casper think he is ordering us around? Out, 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 out. Look at her. Casper has exercised so hard, he's turning into a super ghost. They think I'm you, Casper. They believe you suddenly developed muscles. <laughs> That's a joke on them. Now that Casper has become more powerful than us, we've got to do some thinking. He'll stop us from our scare raids. Say, we've got to do exactly what he did. Huh? We'll exercise. We'll become powerful ourselves. Excuse me, Powerhouse. Will I go and see what the ghostly trio are up to? I'll be right back. Touch the ground without bending your knees, fatso. Oh, I don't see what difference it makes. Now for some weight lifting. Grab some logs. What? When we're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. Oh, oh well, you see, I, I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? No, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled them. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Well, let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, Dad said. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. To think of something to make them think I can grow big. But what can I do? That's it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Uh oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. 
Would you like to make something of it? <coughs> uh, please don't hide us, Casper. <laughs> we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cut-out painting I made. And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle. You don't believe all those silly stories about us. Oh! A real ghost! Gee, books like that sure make it hard for me to find a friend. Hey, Johnny! Come on! We'll be next to the game! Let's go, fellas! Hey, fellas! Wait for me! Wait for me! Stay home, Billy! You're too little to play football! How'd you like me to teach you how to play football? Oh, boy! Would you, Casper? Now, the quarterback calls for the ball to be passed to the fullback, who laterals to the right halfback as the opposing team is held on the line of scrimmage, while the left halfback tries to block the opposing right guard as the opposite left end comes in on the play. Now, how would you play that, Billy? as we go along. Okay, Casper, throw the ball! Here's a forward pass, Billy. Oh. 